you guys welcome back to our channel it's Bible study day today and so we are going to be doing a Bible study and we're going to be doing it out of 2nd Corinthians chapter 4 verses 7 through 18 today so we're going to read those verses and then we will talk about them but we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that the surpassing power belongs to God not to us we are afflicted in every way but not crushed perplexed but not driven to despair persecuted but not forsaken struck down but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may be manifested in our bodies. For we who live are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. Since we have the same spirit of faith according to what has been written, I believe, and so I spoke. We also believe, and we also speak, knowing that he who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and bring us with you into his presence. For it is all for your sake, so that as grace extends to more and more people, that it may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. So we do not lose heart. Though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this light momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. As we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. To give you guys a little bit of background as to what Paul is talking about, I'm going to read some of the commentary. Paul explains why despite his life of affliction as an apostle, of Christ he does not lose heart in his ministry because through it God is bringing about the beginning of the new creation amid this fallen world so we're kind of doing this Bible study a little bit different than we normally do our Bible studies this one we're talking about how it applies to our own lives and what we got out of it the verses stood out that stood out to Mariah come before the verses that stood out to me so she is going to talk about that so the verses that stood out to me were verses 8 and 9, and they say, We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed. So sometimes life can knock us down, but it doesn't knock us out. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> so with change comes pain, which can make transforming us from old to new seem very difficult to us but that pain is necessary for us to be conformed to the likeness of Christ. So in those two verses, Paul is reminding us that quitting is not an option for God's people, no matter what is thrown our way. So when life throws us a curveball, we just have to hold on to the bat a little bit tighter. And as Christians have faith that God's going to take care of that situation. So even though the struggle is real <laughs> and at times may get hard we have to remember that our outside is what's diminishing our inside continues to grow and be renewed each and every day which leads us to the verses that stood out to me and that was verses 16 through 18 and they say so we do not lose heart though our outer self is wasting away and our inner self is being renewed day by day for this light momentary affliction is preparing an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. As we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. So Paul is just reminding us not to lose hope and reminding us that we will make it through all of our trials. They are only temporary and they will not last forever. These verses kind of stood out to me because of the next part I'm going to talk about, and that is that he points out that our faith in God is what is eternal, and that's what our focus needs to be on all the time. Even when it's difficult and even when we're facing trials, we should turn to God to restore our soul daily and to give us the strength that we need to withstand whatever it is that we're going through. Our eternal life is what is in the big picture here, and so... That's what needs to be ever present in our minds. Also something that we should be aware of is how we deal with trials, how that is being seen by people who are unbelievers. And so a question that I wrote down 
that I was thinking while I was doing this is, what does it show to unbelievers when we, as believers, freak out in the midst of trials, big or small? And believe me, we freak out sometimes. It's just part of being a human. But we should try to lean into God and let him give us the strength that we need to get through it so that we can glorify him through our actions, even through trials and despair. When we stand firm in our trials, it shows our faith in God and it shows our faith in the promises that he has made to us. I guess basically what I got out of this is to always be a big picture believer. Like that's what, that's what I wanna focus on after reading this. Always seeing my eternity as the end goal and being ever aware of that. So that is what we got out of this Bible study. Let us know in the comments what you got out of it because everybody's opinions are different. And God gives us all different things at different times. Yes. So. If you like Bible studying with us, you can come back next Monday for another Bible study. We post one every Monday. And if you just want to hang out with us, we also post videos on Wednesdays and Fridays. Wednesdays is a faith-based video. And right now we're going through a book called What If God Wrote Your Bucket List by Jay Paleytner. And then Friday videos are always something fun, lighthearted, makeup, fashion, DIY, food. food food, <laughs> anything like that. So if you want to come join us for those, we would love to see you there. If you guys do enjoy our videos, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to be notified when we upload a video, be sure to hit the little bell after you subscribe. We hope you guys have a good day. We hope you have a good week and don't forget to shine. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.